At the SFSS, we rely on Robert's Rules of Order to ensure that all meetings run effectively. This video will go through the basics of Robert's Rules and how they work to make meetings more efficient. To keep meetings on track, all orders of business are organized in an agenda that lists the various items that will be discussed. At the beginning of our meetings, members will vote on the adoption of this agenda. Only after the agenda is adopted can the meeting proceed. At the core of Robert's Rules is the creation of motions, which are formal proposals for an organization's membership to take a stance or take action on a certain issue. To make a motion, you must first obtain the floor. To do so, you must wait for the chairperson to call on you after the last speaker has spoken. When making a motion, ensure that it is clear, concise, and stated in the affirmative. This is not the time to elaborate on your motion or try to motivate for it. You will get the opportunity to justify your motion during the discussion period. However, before discussion can begin, another individual must second your motion, otherwise it is lost. Note, you don't have to be in support of a motion in order to second it. Seconding simply means that you would like to see further debate and discussion happen. If your motion has been moved and seconded, it is placed before members for consideration and debate. The mover is always allowed to speak first and is given the opportunity to justify their motion. During discussion, only one speaker may speak at a time. At any point during the discussion, an individual can move to amend or modify a motion saying, I move to amend the motion, followed by the changes they wish to make. After all discussion and amendments have taken place, members will vote by a show of hands whether or not they support the motion. If the majority of members vote yes, then the motion passes.